I'm Tara with Smart Deploy, and this is Smart Tech Tips. Today, we're gonna to talk about those stupid Windows updates that just won't run. Hey, just run, just go, just do it. I'm gonna show you some ways to make it happen. Let's dig into it. Okay, so you have a Windows update, and no matter what you do, that thing just will not run. Oh, so aggravating. So let's uh, go over some ways to try to make it do what you want. Number one way to try to make it do your bidding is we're gonna go and use disk cleanup to clear it out. First of all, let's talk about a couple of reasons why it just won't run the update. So it gets kind of gunked up, right? It's just unnecessary garbage that your computer doesn't need. And over time it builds up these, let's call them temp files, right? And the files get corrupt and for whatever reason they just won't run the update so we don't need that garbage let's get rid of it we're going to start with the tried and true method disk cleanup it's the easiest so let's start there i'm just going to search for it disk cleanup if i can spell disk cleanup and i'm going to run it as an administrator of course and it's first going to tell me let's drag it over here calculating how much space can i free up oh my gosh i'm so excited how much okay then you're going to see this window okay and you look at the very first thing, you see how it says Windows Update Cleanup? It already knows. It's like it's listening to us. It probably is. So if I was gonna go this route, all I'm actually gonna do is just hit a little checkbox right there. And it has almost three gigs. So this computer hasn't been cleaned up for a while. And then I'm gonna hit okay and bam, it's gonna clean it. But we're not gonna do that because that will spoil all the fun. Okay, so that's why number one, easy peasy. I would hit okay, clean, 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 and then I would restart. And I would try to run those Windows update again and hopefully be successful. But let's not do that yet. Okay, number two, I am going to go to services. So I'm gonna do Windows R. Oh, it opened over there, okay. And I'm gonna do services.msc. So I got two screens here, let's pull it over here so you guys can see it. And I am gonna look for if I can drag the screen over, I'm gonna look for Windows Update Services. And first thing, we gotta stop the service, okay? Windows Update Service. Not that one, this one, okay? I'm just gonna write, oh, and it's stop. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, so this one definitely hasn't run updates for a while, so we're actually good, because we just wanna make sure that it's stopped. So we're gonna leave this alone. Now, we're gonna go to our location. So just open up Finder drag it over and we're gonna go to our C drive. We're gonna go to Windows, then we're gonna go to Software Distribution, Download, and all of this stuff. We would just trash it, okay? And you can just do it manually, trash it, and then like I said before, we are going to delete it, but first we would come back into Services, right click and start the service again, okay? Then we're gonna reboot it and we're gonna try to run it again. Okay, now, those are the two easy methods. They're pretty straightforward, right? You can do that, It's they're not hard. Okay, so the next two are a little convoluted and here's what they involve. They involve an elevated command prompt. So I'm just gonna search for command prompt. I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna run as administrator, right? That's, that's pretty easy, we do that all the time, right? And then I'm gonna run these bajillions of commands that honestly, they're kind of annoying. I'm gonna change the directory, I'm gonna navigate to that path we just went to, and I'm gonna do all this stuff. And so I read these, I'm like, ugh, those seem laborious. I don't wanna do those. So you know what I'm gonna do? Jordan! Hi, I'm Jordan, and I'm here because Tara makes me do things. So the reason I like to do things on command line is when you run a GUI, you're Performing a task, but you don't always know what it's doing. I like to know exactly what I'm doing. Looking into this, what you're doing is you're deleting all the files in a certain folder. And to do that, you have to stop the service. So all of this right here, you see it's stopping the service, it's changed the directory, it's deleting everything within it. And then it goes into another one and it renames the file that exists there to .old. It's a lot of lines for what's ultimately not a lot of work. So if we go into PowerShell, Bring that over here. We do uh, git dash child item, a literal path, not a literal path. And then we're just gonna do an environment variable. This is almost always going to be 
C colon Windows, but that can change. So that's what we're using a variable. So this line will work on everyone's computer, not just uh, ones that you see Windows for that. Oh, uh, I forgot the name of my variable already, though. Give me one second to go find it. I know it's in there. I believe Winder. Let's uh, we're on that one. Yeah, that's the one. So we're going to do that and then we're going to go through the path that I forgot. So maybe I should learn the folder I'm looking to. I'm going to go to the document they had there. Uh, software distribution. There we go. Software distribution. You see when I hit tab, it removed the variable anyway. But environment variable is kind of the where it's going to be located on every machine. And the last one is download. So if we do this with the recurse, that's it. And that's all the files it's looking to delete. Uh, the only problem is, is you can't delete those by default. So what we're going to do is we're going to, with that, with a Windows Update service running, we're going to go and we're going to delete that, or stop the service, delete everything, restart the service. I don't know if I'm actually supposed to run this or not, or if we're just showing how it works, but uh, stop dash service, and then I'm going to look at the name again because it's a little bit weird. W-U-A-U-S-U-V. So line one stops the service. The next one, we're going to go copy the line we typed in there. And we're going to just pipe that into a remove item. Move item and we'll force so it doesn't give us any guff and we'll do recurse on that as well. And the next one, we start the service back up. So if we just copy the line that's there. Instead of stop, we're going to change that to start. And that's it. So you look at it. We're stopping the service that we need to kill. We're going into the folder where we want to delete everything, deleting it all, restarting the service, three lines in PowerShell, and now you know exactly what it's doing without the magic of GUI. Thank you, Jordan. Oh, Jordan is the best. I love the GUI, though. I'm just going to say. Okay, so try it. Maybe your Windows updates will finally run. I hope they do. That's it for today. I'm Tara with Smart Deploy, and this was Smart Tech Tips. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time for more Smart Tech Tips. And maybe, just maybe, I'll get Jordan to come back again. Thanks for watching.